Good morning. We're going to continue with Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. The way to humility. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Achieving humility doesn't mean merely putting yourself down. Because of sin, you are already spiritually down. Whether you know it or not, humility just recognizes this truth. Furthermore, this recognition comes only from God, which is why self-denial and other human efforts are so futile in seeking humility. Yet even though genuine humility results from God's sovereign saving work, he still commands it of men and women. Found in Matthew chapter 18 verse 4, chapter 23 verse 12, and in James chapter 4 verse 10, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 5. Therefore it is always helpful to remember some basic steps to take from our side of the divine equation. First, we must take our eyes off ourselves and look to God through study of the word, time and prayer, and sincerely desiring to be close to him. Second, we must starve our flesh by removing the things on which it feeds. This means removing those things that promote pride. Third, and most important, we must simply ask for it. God alone can help us keep our lives in balanced perspective, and he will respond when we seek humility with all our hearts. David prayed, Create in me a clear heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Found in Psalms chapter 51, verse 10, he desired to be steadfastly humble and knew only God could grant such a request. The Father stands ready to answer this prayer long before we knew or even uttered it. Humility is that important. Now I want you to ask yourself, fashion your own prayer today, deliberately confessing your tendency toward pride, acknowledging your inability to conjure up true humility within yourself, and asking for the Lord's enablement in pursuing a life of genuine, godly perspective. He will love hearing this prayer from you. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.